oh, so now I'm brainwashed and conditioned, and, and it's to the extreme of looking at someone who suddenly believes in flat earth theory, huh? Really? Yeah, because I don't buy into this bullshit theory that uh, anything that takes us even remotely more towards the left will lead us to Stalin! Oh, oh, look out, Stalin! Because I don't have that kind of bullshit belief? I'm conditioned? I'm the one that's conditioned because I'm saying things aren't as bad as you're, you're claiming? I'm the one that's conditioned? I'm the one that's conditioned because I see the patterns of Republicans. I saw what they were in the 80s. I see what they're up to now. I see some of the same shit, stuff that I've experienced. It's not just stuff that I read up in some sort of a book. Oh, well, you know, the theory of this. I see this shit with my own eyes. I lived through the shit. I see what Republicans push forth. Just as people don't have the right to not be offended, People don't have the right to be free of consequences of their words. Yeah, you might lose your job if you say that women could stop unwanted pregnancies if they just closed their legs. Yeah, you might lose your job if you say that. Yeah, you might be given a really hard time and lose your job if you say that illegal Mexicans are taking all the good jobs and they're on welfare. Especially since that's not true. Yeah, you might lose your job for stating that Muslims are the biggest problem in the United States. Yeah, you might lose your job if you say that race issues would go away if black people stopped complaining. And no, it doesn't matter how nicely you say it. Words have consequences. There are a number of places where you could lose your job for stating negative views or negative connotations towards Christianity. There are places where you could lose your job for having a liberal bumper sticker on your car. Should it be this way? No. But you're not going to see Republicans trying to do anything about it. They're not going to put any sort of restrictions on businesses. To many Republicans, putting restrictions on businesses like that, like anti-discrimination policies, are an infringement on someone's personal liberties. I somewhat think the actual reason why they don't want to really do anything about this, is so they can endlessly complain and endlessly be the victim, and especially in places like social media. Although on social media, they're kind of changing their tune, and then when you show them that putting regulations on social media is asking for bigger government, more socialism, and it's infringing on the personal liberties of the CEOs of those social media companies, well, they get mad. Republicans like to legislate morality and legislate behavior. The war on drugs is especially brought to you by the Republican Party. Yes, the Democrats go along with it, but the Republican Party are the ones that really, really pushed for the start of it, and they really, really have expanded it and escalated it as much as possible. Look what Jeff Sessions was originally going to do in regards to marijuana. Republicans also very much like to guilt trip people into changing their behavior, generally based on religious or traditional morality or standards. If there's something harmless or mostly harmless that they don't like, the answer is to shame them and make them feel so bad about it that they stop doing it. Of course, this seldom works, it just makes people feel like shit. And of course, when that's done online, uh, yeah, people will just stop making videos, so, you know, that's why you don't see that many leftist videos anymore, because they get so bullied off the platform. And it's cool, you know, because pushing traditional standards is, you know, is what's in. It's, it's how to be rebellious, is to push traditional standards, right? And then some of these Republicans will claim to be victims when people shame them for shaming others claiming that it's still shaming, so it's just as bad. Because to many Republicans, being intolerant of intolerance is still intolerance, so it's just as bad. Teenage pregnancies are up? The Republican answer is to push for abstinence. You know, don't actually do anything that helps take care of the problem. The answer is to guilt trip people into changing their behavior or to somehow prevent them from doing things, you know? They, they won't do something because they're shamed into that. It's a, very, it's a very religious sort of method. 
And of course, we can see that these methods don't work to reduce teenage pregnancies. It, it, they, the numbers go up when they use the, only these methods. So, you know. Hey, I just wanted to interject that I understand that the left uses shaming tactics as well sometimes, uh, more in recent years. And instead of people analyzing these tactics and going, oh, we've been using those tactics, it's kind of messed up, isn't it? You know? No, it's, it's just the, no, the, the left is the worst ever for using these tactics. You know, I'm not going to defend those tactics. Okay, they're, they're indefensible. Okay, it's it's just it's it's not the way to go about things. You don't you don't go around trying to make people feel like shit. It's it's just not a good route to go about things. Okay? The left has been doing that. Now, what they have what they have to try to back them is this sense of, "Hey, what you just said uh, could hurt people." And we're giving these reasons. You know, what you said was hurtful. Right? It's a little different than uh, someone telling someone, you're an evil person because you're going against God's word and God will smite you. God will punish you. You are evil. But you know, that sort of thing isn't as common anymore. And it's more of the bullying tactics. So it's things like degenerate, cuck, snowflake, soy boy. Sometimes they still use faggot loser, anything they can find to try to tear down someone's morale in any way they can. But the tactics are the same, it's messed up, and I'm going to state that it's messed up. Okay? Shaming tactics suck. Okay? All it does is spread negativity. All it usually does, I mean, sometimes it stops people from doing things. We can see it's sometimes worked on people on the left and they stop putting out content. But usually it just makes people feel bad, okay? And if that's what you want to spread around, <clears throat> I'm, not going to, I'm, I'm not going to condone that. Crime is up in black communities? You should shame the black communities as the answer. Don't actually do anything that could help those communities. Just shame them. Bring up crime statistics. Make things easier for white people. And then take credit for doing something helpful to the black community if crime statistics do happen to change for whatever reason. And then if they get worse, you know, you just kind of ignore it, right? Because there's this strong belief in trickle down. If you make it easier for those on top, well, everything will trickle down to everyone else and be better for everyone. It's not just trickle down economics they believe in, but pretty much trickle down for everything, for anything social related anyway. It's a proven failed model that they keep wanting to push over and over again, rebranding it each time in hopes that the next generation will latch on to it. And of course, when anyone points out the racist, sexist, and most of all classist realities of that failed model that Republicans keep pushing for some reason, you know, if anyone points out problems with that failed model, They'll get told that they're either bullying, or are being unfair, or are using educational ideologies as a weapon, or are just being nasty, polarizing people that hate America. Anything to avoid having to look at what the failed Republican model of trickle-down everything perpetuates. So go ahead. Tell me about how the left wants to tell people how to live. We want to find actual solutions to problems. Not just give lip service to satisfy religious people. Not just virtue signal one's traditional beliefs. America. We want to allow as many people to live their lives as they choose. Live your personal life as you choose. And no, a business open to the public is not really your personal life. It's a business that's open to the public. And a business that's open to the public is subject to the rules and regulations of businesses that are open to the public. But sure, liberals want the right to tell bigoted people that their views are bigoted, that racist views are racist, that sexist views are sexist. Yes, we want the right to criticize people for saying horrible things about entire groups of people. Yes, we want to celebrate the First Amendment. And just as you want the right to not be politically correct, 
We also want the right to not be politically correct. When we discuss things that we see wrong with the failed model and some of the messed up ideologies that come from the right wing, trickle-down theory applied to everything, like Republicans tend to promote, disallows those who aren't on top to get their footing. It essentially promotes a caste system with very little way of people getting out of it. It ensures that the winners will always be the winners and pretty much nobody else. And everyone else should be satisfied or even thankful for the scraps that are left over, no matter how hard they work. And Republicans continue this theory all the way into health care. Republicans don't think health care is a right. Let me repeat that. Republicans don't think health care is a right. So things are being demanded of me to you know, basically be nicer to Republicans. Be nicer. Don't, don't, uh, don't be so negative about this. Don't be so polarizing. Talk about the issues. Well, I'm talking about the issues. I'm pointing out exactly what I see wrong with the Republican Party and why I am kind of stressed when I see people that are normally liberal-minded going over to this side that has the history that it does and is still doing the shit that it's doing. Look at all these states where they've made it so religious people can have special rights to discriminate against gay people. Look at that shit that they're doing there. And you don't think that's the shit that they want to push other places? The fuck? And I'm the one, I'm the one that's brainwashed here? No! God damn! This is the shit that makes some people wonder whether there, you know, was there some sort of Russian uh, propaganda program and just people bought into it or what? What happened? Because it seems to be, it seems to have started around the same time that Russia put their anti-SJW uh, law into place. Right around the same time. I'm sorry, but intolerance of intolerance should not be judged the same way as intolerance of something that someone has no fucking control over. That's all I gotta say.